Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we have created a layout by using table which looks something like this and we have created similar layout by using div tags which looks like this. So they are quite similar you can see. In this tutorial, I want to create a navigation scheme just below the header here. So we create one navigation bar, there we put different links. So let's get started. I go to the layout using table.html page. Here we have the main container. Inside that we have the header and in the header we have the details, name and email ID. Just below this table header, I am going to create one more table, table, closing table. This table is going to have width of 100% and it is going to have BG color of gray. It is going to have width of 100% and BG color gray. In that it is going to have one table row, closing table row and it is going to have one TD, closing TD. I want to set for this table also the height of 50 pixels, H E I G S T height of 50 pixels double quotations. If I say file, save and go to browser and refresh, you can see that we got one more bar just below the header and this is going to become our nav bar. So I am going to give the ID to this. ID is equal to nav to uniquely identify this table. We have given a unique ID. The name is nav and this table TD is going to have another table. So I am going to create one more table, closing table and this table is going to have width of 800 pixels and it is going to have border of one pixel we set and this table is going to have cell spacing zero pixel and in this table we are going to have one table row, closing table row and this table row is going to have many TDs let me put some TDs itself. So I create TD closing TD and this TD I am going to paste it for few times two, three, four, five times and in the first I am going to write home H O M E home and next one is going to be having information about qualification and next one is going to have experience. Next one is going to have software skills S K I W L S skills and another one is contact me. If I say like that this table is going to be created and it is going to have one TR with five TDs file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that it has got created here but it is not aligned in the center. So what we can do is we can align this table to the center by writing here TD A L I G N align C E N T E R center. Whatever the content we have in this TD that should be aligned center and the content is the table itself. So file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that now we have the content in the center and we can place the uh, placements of the content easily just by putting some align things. You can see the qualification details has more space. What I can do is I can align the content of the qualification to center. Here I can say A L I G N align C E N T E R center file save go to browser and refresh. That looks proper spacing it is showing I think so. Now what can we do is uh, we are going to convert them to hyperlinks. So to do that I am going to use anchor tag anchor href hyperlink reference hash and here I am going to write a closing anchor tag. I copy this and paste it to every other TD informations. So I am pasting you can see and I copy this paste it here paste it here paste it here paste it here. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that now we have hyperlinks proper hyperlinks and also I am going to remove the border. I set the border to zero pixels save go to browser and refresh. Now you can see that it is showing hyperlinks home qualification experience soft skills contact me later we create uh, pages for each of these links. Now similar thing we have to try to do 
in layout design using div tag how do we do that again we have to compare and analyze what we can do first of course i am going to create one div which is going to have a 100% width 50 pixel height and background color gray with an id of nav so let's do that first of all here we have the div id with the header here i am going to create a div with the id of nav id and it is going to be closing div and it is going to have style set the styles we are going to set is first thing width is going to be 100 percent semicolon and it is going to have height set height is going to be 50 pixels semicolon width we have set height we have set and we need to set the background color also so i am going to say here b a c k g r o u n d background dash color of gray semicolon file save go to browser and i am going to layout design using div tag and refresh you can see that we got the similar look you can see here and now all i need is to create these hyperlinks also to do that what i am going to do is uh, you can see here we have another table created which is of 800 pixels the same thing i do here also inside this nav day i am going to create another div going to be having a style of width of 800 pixels semicolon and uh, i think that's uh, that is enough and what i can do is uh, also if i say only that much this is not enough for example i can set here background dash color of cyan semicolon and i set the height h e i g s t height of 50 pixel double quotations if i do like this let's see what happens file save go to browser and refresh you can see the div got created here and it is on left align not center align so what we can do is one solution is we can use the margin attribute let me put this down i'm going to align them down we are going to use uh, margin colon aot auto semicolon file save and go to browser and refresh you can see that now the div is automatically aligned in the center all i need is put the links so what can we do is i can use I can write the anchor tags I can directly write href hyperlink reference I can say hash and write here home h o m e home closing anchor tag if I write like that file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it has got created in this place and similarly I have to create for all to do that I am going to copy from here instead of uh, typing I copy all these things from here and uh, paste it just below this and I remove this TDs so I'm deleting you can see now if I say file save go to browser and refresh we have all the links you can see now I set padding for this content here so I go here and say padding of 15 pixels and uh, remember that if you set the padding I'm going to set padding dash top padding top I'm setting 15 pixels so the height i have to modify here to 35 pixels because the sum of padding top and height should be the actual height 50 pixels file save go to browser and refresh so contents are moved little down you can see that and what else we can do is we can set the distance between each of these anchor tags more we need to increase the distance what we can do is one way is to put the uh, margin again so for each anchor tag i say style and i say here margin dash r i g s t right maybe i set uh, 50 pixels 50 pixels margin i set for this for example you can see margin right once i set 50 pixels and say refresh you can see there is a distance you can see i can increment or decrement the margin so let me try that here i say here 100 pixels margin for this and i copy that same thing i do for all other save it go to browser and refresh so now we have margin set properly and you can see they are both similar they are looking same you can see quite same and uh, next thing what i can do is i am going to remove the background color Control s save and refresh and you can see that we have achieved the task that we were expecting how do we create the navigation scheme similar in both of the pages and you can see the code 
code is quite simple we created a table inside that we created another table here also we did same thing we created one div inside that we created another div and we placed the content hope you guys have understood for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much